Good morning, everyone. This is Leighton, the video game truck guy. It is early Thursday morning, and today's episode is about assessing whether you should be pulling yourself out of the business or not. And I'm not talking about completely leaving the business. I'm simply talking about going from being a driver or a game coach to just simply working out of the office and managing um, you know, other individuals who might be working for you in the field. So, uh, first of all, whether you are in a franchise-like approach or if you are in an independent operator-like approach, uh, one of the mistakes that you could make is as soon as you have your equipment is instead of putting in the footwork and the time uh, into the business yourself, is you go on and hire somebody uh, to whether it be a game coach or a driver or here's a really big one you hire a game coach and a driver to run your business uh, pretty much right off the bat without you actually having put in any time into your own business now I know that many of you may disagree with me however I do want you to understand that every situation is relative right I mean some people start this business and they have to fight for everything uh, just to get started other people come from a background where they're uh, you know they're very financially well off so they can just instantly hire somebody to run the operation for them but if if it is your intention to run your business grow your business and expand into a multiple unit operation it is important that you do not uh, try to make things super easy for yourself right off the bat uh, and, and 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 just instantly step out of the equation and work solely as someone who manages from an office so let's look now as to why I am saying this. So about a year ago, I actually had the opportunity to completely step away from all the field work and just manage everything out of an office. But after I thought about this, I decided not to. I still go out weekly and service multiple events. And it's not because I do not have the opportunity not to. It's simply because it's a choice that I made. And one of the biggest reasons for it is because I, as the owner, the person who is on the front line is the one who can really upsell other services. And as you know, I have other services with my company as well. And you can establish a better relationship with people when you come out. So let's say you are the owner, right? And, you know, put yourself in this position. You have an event and it's be, be it a corporate event, a school event, a private event. And you know that if you go out, the probability of establishing better rapport with your future clients and upselling and talking to people is a lot higher than versus sending out someone who works for you and, you know, who is there to uh, execute upon running the event but isn't there to execute upon growing your business. So when you pull yourself out of the equation too soon, that can be very problematic because you are stunting the growth of your own business. Uh, so also maybe it's just a mistake, an amateur mistake that you make where you just want things the easy way and uh, I guarantee you're not going to survive very long if you try to just hire people and, 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 and you know, and, and pull out uh, unless you're in some sort of franchise-like approach, but even that's not guaranteed. So, you know, very important to think about that. Now, uh, if you have been operating your business for, I don't know, maybe a year, two or three and you feel confident enough where you now have more than one truck that you can step out and you can hire people because you believe that you've put in the necessary amount of work to properly establish yourself, then maybe you can start gradually pulling yourself out, you know, like maybe halfway you still do some parties there are here to keep the all the tools sharp, you know, I mean, what happens if one of your drivers calls out and you have this event you can go out to and do yourself simply because you retained all the knowledge and all the information, right? And in, instead of canceling the party and, and upsetting an entire school or an event or, you know, 20 to 30 people, you simply go out and do it yourself. Uh, but if you pull out yourself out of the equation too too fast or too soon, then, then, you know, and you just let that party go because you yourself, for whatever reason, can't service that event, then, you know, you're going to start running into problems. Why do I say this? I say this that as you grow your business, there will be many times where you will have to make a decision between you going out and servicing the event or letting the event go 
because uh, you know a driver calls out for whatever reason so very important to think about that now my personal opinion I will keep myself grounded on the front lines as long as I possibly can and the reason I can do that is because I do multitasking so uh, you know when a client let's say calls in or calls you whether you have three or four truck operation if you have one of these right here a Bluetooth you can multitask take a couple steps away from your trailer take the order and then you still are in the process of servicing your event upselling your event building report and now you can multitask and and take orders um, while you're on site so there really shouldn't be any excuse as to why you're stepping away from your business too soon uh, besides maybe that you just simply want things done the easier way uh, in which case in the long run you will be hindering yourself alrighty ladies and gentlemen time to go work 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 make some money conquer the world and I'll talk to you soon